There's five elements in the First Amendment. Do you know those five elements? Five elements to the First Amendment? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, I cannot recite them to you, so okay. I'd have to... All right, folks, this is one of the most important videos on my channel today. At the end of the video, I'll tell you why. Now, this video takes place in Longwood, Florida, and Volusia at the sheriff's office as well. Now, what you just seen, folks, is the chief of police who does not know the First Amendment. One of the things that I've set out to do personally when I go out and record is ask police officers if they know the First Amendment of the Constitution. It would surprise you to see that a high percentage of police officers absolutely do not know the oath that they swore in order to get that job. Now I went back and looked at a bunch of videos where police officers get sworn in and folks, it would amaze you to see that not one video on the internet that I found, an officer knows it by heart. Someone is actually reading it to them and all they're doing is repeating it. The patterns don't lie. Check out this video from This Is A Public Service. This has to be one of the most important channels in the First Amendment auditing community, so do not miss the opportunity to go subscribe. I'll drop the links in the description and in the pinned comment. Let's get right to the video, folks. You guys know what they use this building for now? The whole building? Do you know what, uh, is that a Volusia County Department? Do you guys know? Do you know if Do you know if it's like a branch of Parks and Recs or something like that? So Google Turtle Patrol and I'll, I'll get to the bottom of it. They watch the nest so that nobody disturbs the nest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They go out when they think the, the eggs are going to hatch and protect the turtles getting to the water. You guys are both sheriffs? Yes. Are you guys constitutional uh, officers? Yes. They just changed that. Uh, what did they change it from? Was that change legislative? Yes, it was done by the voters. Huh. What? Can you say, do you guys know what changed? Well, like, all, the, all the elected offices used to be part of the charter of Volusia County. Now they're all constitutional elected officials. Versus okay. There was no tax assessor or office before. Right. Now there is. Okay. It's an elected position. Okay. Right now? Right, you guys have a good day. You too. Actually, I'd be I'd be remiss if I didn't do it, guys. If if one of the people came up to you guys and asked you a question, and you didn't know the answer to it, but by all rights it was a question that you should know the answer to, would you guys make a good faith effort to find out what the answer to that question was? I'm gonna try to get you the right answer as best we can. Right. I'm not gonna give you a bad answer. Right. Um, you mind if I ask you that question? Which question? <laughs> okay. Uh, there's five elements in the First Amendment. Do you guys know those five elements? Do you guys, as constitutional officers, do you guys think that's a problem? That you don't know the First Amendment? Or the five elements of the First Amendment? Yes, that's one of them. Yes, sir. But there's four more elements, right? Do you know those four elements? I don't know verbatim. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, so do you guys think that's a problem? That constitutional officers... Well, I was here being genuine. You know, so, I mean, I think it's a problem. You gave me food for thought, and I'll research to make sure. I, I appreciate that. What, what was your name, sir? Deputy Grunder. Grunder? Yeah. Do you have a identification number? Yeah, my ID's 2416. 2416. And you, uh, sir? Deputy Curry, 7933. 7933. You guys have a great day. You too. Have a good day. Thank you. All right, folks, what have you guys noticed about this guy's channel that you guys like? For me, it's the fact that his approach is one that I've never really seen before. Now, everybody goes around claiming to be the best auditor around or the most professional, yada, yada, yada. Everybody wants to be that guy. 
Thing about me is I really don't care who that guy is because there's always gonna be another guy who's gonna come out and he's gonna learn from all of us that have been here before and he's gonna bring his own purpose to the table, his own reasons for doing this. And it's gonna be educational. And this channel right here is exactly what I'm talking about. I personally told this guy that I wanna help his channel grow. This guy brings something amazing to the table. It's professionalism. It gets right down to the point and it makes him hard for them to deny his questions. Keep watching, folks. Absolutely. How are you guys doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. Good, I'm Clint, how are you doing? Clint. Yeah. Good to meet you. Good. You're doing something exciting. Are you the, you're the chief? I am. Uh, I can save you an appointment that your secretary set up tomorrow if you want to knock it out right now. Do you have a second? My secretary set up? Your secretary. Okay. Tell me that. <laughs> she didn't know. When did you set it up? Uh, maybe. 30 minutes, 45 oh, minutes ago. I, yeah, yeah, I just came from the... Uh, the what can I do for you? Uh, if one of the people came up to you guys, do you mind if I just turn this around? So what, I've do, got, you, what, do, you, what is it for? Is it like a uh, private thing? I'm or? a citizen journalist. Oh, I'm, really? I'm just trying to kind of bridge the gap between the people and the police. I got you. Well, we, I think we'd have to get a list of questions before we did that. I mean, I don't know. We got to... Just one question. Yeah. Well, I guess he can ask him if he wanted, if, he, if he's well, not prepared to answer it. That's okay. Well, how about I'll frame it this way. I'll frame it this way. Sure, yeah. If one of the people came up to you and asked you a question and you didn't know the answer to it, but by all rights, it was something that you should know the answer to, would you make a good faith effort to find out the answer to that question? Of course. Okay. Do you mind if I ask you that question? Is that the extent of the question? The extent? There's, yeah, there's a question here. Right. I'm if you give don't... you an answer, is there a follow-up to the question? Um, there, there, there may be. Yeah, there may be. But... I'll let you go if, if you don't want to have a conversation after that. You might want to, I don't know. Do you mind if I ask? Well, as he mentioned, it might be easier for me to be able to answer your questions if I had some pre-knowledge of what they were. Okay. And if well, we have an appointment, then, we then keep I'll, I'll hold the appointment okay. and I'll ask you the question so you can think about it, all right? Sure. There's Thank five you. elements in the First Amendment. Do you know those five elements? Five elements to the First Amendment. Yes, yes sir. Can I, I cannot recite them to you, so okay. I'd have to. But no, and I and I don't want you to recite them. You know, I, I don't. But but do you know what those five elements are? Are they called elements? Um, you talking about amendments? No. Uh, so the First Amendment to the Constitution has five, has five elements, elements within right. it. Yes, sir. Gotcha. All right. Well, thanks for letting me know. It was nice to meet you. It was good to meet you. Yeah, good luck. Hope you have a good day. Uh, I'm going to have a good day. Thank you. I appreciate that. Chief, can I can I ask you a follow up question? And, and I, you know, the, the question wasn't... Just so I know, are you reporting me right now? I am, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I'm a citizen journalist. I, I wouldn't be doing my job if I wasn't recording you. Okay. Um, do you think it's a problem that, that officers don't know the First Amendment? And I'm not accusing you of not knowing it. I've just had a lot of interactions with police officers, and this is the question that I ask because I think it is vitally important to, you know, the relationship between the police and, and the people. You know what I mean? Well, as I said, I'm not familiar with the five elements that you've asked me to recite, so okay. I cannot recite them to you. But that does not mean that I'm not familiar with the First Amendment. Okay, well, that's fair. That's fair. Sure. Um, fair enough. All right. I'll see you tomorrow, Chief. Thank you very much. And, and Chief, I'm going to be recording tomorrow. Do you have any issues with me recording tomorrow? I, I take no exception to you reporting. I just wanted to be aware that I was being reported. Yeah, well, I'm <laughs> I've got two cameras, you know. Well, you asked me if you could turn that one around, so that led me to believe that you weren't recording me until you turned it around. Well, no, it was it was rolling the whole time. I was catching B-roll of, of the building because I just, I, I came from in there. You know I, what I'm I mean? I'm sure you can appreciate it. I just wanted to know whether I was being reported. Yeah, 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 uh, absolutely. All right, yeah. thank you. Have a good day, Chief. <laughs> Hey, how you doing? Keith Allen. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, 
right, we'll, we'll, we'll lead off where we ended yesterday. Um, do you do you know? Um, actually, I'd prefer to start this way. I'd like my video from yesterday to disappear and never see the light of day because it doesn't. What video is that? The video of, of you, I, and, and Clint speaking about the conversation we're talking about. Um, I would well, like I would, would you hide anything? Well, you the Longwood Police Department, the community of Longwood, I think would appreciate um, would appreciate it, um, and, and I'll tell you why. It doesn't paint the prettiest picture when the chief. And I'm not I'm not trying to attack you. I'm just saying that it doesn't paint the prettiest picture when when the chief of police doesn't know the First Amendment to the Constitution. Well, I don't think your video would paint that, actually. Um, well, in either, case, in either case, I'd like to undo it. You know, I'd like to start off on, on you know, fresh footing and re-ask the question. You know what I mean? Give me an opportunity. Okay. Well, uh, that was one of the questions that, I, when I asked you to tell me what the question was you were going to ask me, I told you I would give you an answer yes, sir. when we sat down. Uh, I am familiar with the First Amendment, as I mentioned yesterday. Um, while I can't quote it verbatim to you, I know the importance of freedom of speech, the freedom of religion, uh, the freedom of press, freedom to assemble, and of course, um, probably the lesser known, um, the right to be able to redress grievances um, of those and other, other topics. And I think your, your second question yesterday was whether or not I thought it was important for law enforcement officers to, to know them. Um, I do, uh, with the caveat that anytime you ask someone a technical question like that, especially on the spur of the moment, they may not be able to come up with a most articulate answer. And there are some of those things that I just uh, enumerated that are more relevant to a field police officer's duties every day than others. So while they might be not able to um, give you a verbatim quote of the First Amendment. Um, they are certainly familiar with the concepts. I, I can only speak for this department. I know of no instance where we have violated anybody's constitutional rights, whether it be the First Amendment through the 27th. Um, so um, I feel very confident that our officers are familiar and, and uh, are not violating any of those rights. The specific question was, do you think it's a problem that they don't know? I, I understand that uh, I understand the answer you just gave me. And I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna apply it to uh, the lens in which I just asked that question. So I think it still applies what you're saying. Um, you know, if you're only going to answer two questions, then. Um, I'm not sure how I'm not sure how uh, how dynamic this uh, conversation can be, um, so I would like to ask some some more questions. Um, and I guess you, you you know you don't have to answer them, just like I wouldn't have to answer any question uh, anymore. Do you mind if I ask you a couple questions? Well, as I said yesterday, uh, I'm not really interested in doing an impromptu on camera interview with you about technical questions. I think you could understand that that I could probably ask you questions about your profession that maybe off the top of your head you wouldn't be immediately ready to answer at the spur of a moment. Absolutely. So I'm not comfortable doing that. Okay. Um, if you, again, if you email me those questions, I, I don't know why my spam would have um, blocked your email. I've, I've never had that happen to me before, not here anyway. Um, but if you if you have them available right now, I can have someone print them out. Um, yeah, I mean, if somebody could just pull your email up and look in the spam, they could print off. You know, they could print off the email and then. Well, again, I, I feel reasonably sure that my spam filter has not, unless you're sending it from something that you feel like it always from, gets blocked. Yeah, no, I sent it from a, a Gmail address, and I sent it to. Uh, is it D D O W D A at Longwood Florida dot org? Longwood Florida. 
dot org. One word, yes. FL dot org. Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Then, I mean, uh, sent at 11.57, you know, it, it, it was sent. I, do you want me to give you my phone and you can look at the questions? That way you don't have to print them. Are you asking me if, if I can look at the questions and then answer your questions right now? Well, if you're comfortable answering uh, any of the questions, yeah. Well, I, as I indicated yesterday and, and, and today, I'm not comfortable with an impromptu interview. Not really comfortable doing any um, interview without knowing what I'm being asked first. Again, I'll reiterate, I think anybody can be put on the spot and ask questions. They're not prepared to answer. Yeah. And, um, That's fair. Okay. But that is why I sent the email prior to this meeting. I, I will say that from, you know, you, there's your perspective and then there's my perspective, right? Mm -hmm. And then there's, there's something in the middle, right? right? So, you know, I heard everything that you said yesterday and I sent that email because you said that, because those were concerns that you uh, that you voiced, so I thought, you know, to be fair to you, uh, I would send the questions in advance of our meeting. Um, you know, I understand technology is where it is. Sometimes you don't you don't get things, um, but that you know that's you know I'm, I'm not up here asking gotcha questions. I I sent the questions in advance, like you asked. Well, I did ask, um, and, I, and I'll take your, your word that you sent them. I'm just telling you I did not receive them. Okay. Or I would be prepared to answer them. Okay. Can we set up? Uh, can we set up a time? Uh, well, what I know, just I'll answer the questions and email them back to you. Okay. Well, that that works too. Okay. That works too. Well, I appreciate you taking the time, to Chief. All right. Thank you very much. Have a good day. You too. So at the beginning of the video, I told you guys that this has to be one of the most important videos on my channel today. The reason being is when I started, I put transparency in the channel name because I knew I wanted to highlight the good and the bad. I've learned a lot along the way. I've seen patterns. I began asking police officers if they knew the First Amendment of the Constitution because the First Amendment of the Constitution, folks, mirrors your natural rights, the rights that you were born with. And in the patterns, they tell me that police officers, they really don't know the oath that they swear when they get the job. That's a problem, folks. We see it over and over again that police officers don't know the First Amendment of the Constitution. That means it's all a sham. I understand a lot of police officers have good intentions, but what can you do with those good intentions if you don't know when your partner is violating somebody's rights? You're not going to know when to stop them. You're not going to know when to step in. You're going to cower away and you're going to let the bad police officers give you a bad name. Let's change things, folks. Let's make these police officers really learn the Constitution before they graduate. In my opinion, this channel is one of the most important channels that I've ever shared. I really want to see this guy's channel grow and I really want a lot of you guys learning from this guy. He has good intentions, as many of you do, as I do. I get a lot of comments and emails. And I'm even starting to receive a lot of support by current law enforcement officers, retired law enforcement, and that was the goal from the beginning. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to my channel. We keep bringing you educational videos, new channels just like this one. Go subscribe to This Is A Public Service. Let them know San Joaquin sent you. I'll see you guys over there. Have a blessed day.